ambient sounds that you hear from the scratching naturally, that's what you're going to get today. So again, I'm beating you guys to the punch and I am letting you know that this is all about the voice. It's all about the voice. be focusing on relaxing and it's okay that's something that I think is programmed into most of us but we just must know that it's okay to sometimes let someone else take the wheel and you just ride shotgun and relax yes I think so and this doll here she absolutely knows how to let go and relax. Scratch your girl passion does not play about how she renders her client sessions. It's by any means necessary in order to get you to that place of complete and total relaxation and zen. such a gentle, almost motherly touch, simply because touch is so essential to everyday life. And there are various types of touch. The particular type of touch that we practice is communal touch, which communal touch is simply a touch that you exchange with, say, maybe a complete stranger, whether it's a hug, a handshake, or whatever you deem. you want to do in the moment to let that person know that you see them and that they do matter. And it's important for us to do as fellow human beings, just assure one another from time to time. So everything that we do here is intentional. We consider everyone to be our family there are no strangers to us, which means our touch is genuine and it's sincere no matter who 
we are working with. Everyone matters to us. We've often seen a lot of comments mentioning world peace and etc. And I'm not sure if our scratch therapy would actually bring world peace, considering that there's so much <clears throat> going on in the world today. But I definitely believe that we are off to a great start. If we can encourage and motivate everyone to adapt this mindset, I personally believe that the world would be headed in the right direction to being a better place. I don't know how many of you guys have noticed or experienced this, but <clears throat> I rarely meet strangers anywhere I go. Like, of course they're strangers because I've never met them or encountered them. However, because of kindred spirit, I know them. I'm familiar with them, right? And so I speak individuals, no matter where I go, if I'm passing someone on the street or passing someone in a store, I always try to smile and speak. I may not nail it all of the time, but I have made a conscious effort to do just that. One thing I can say about that is it's really disturbing to me how I could speak to someone, a random stranger, and it blows me away that some people really don't reciprocate the greeting. They don't speak back. And I have to admit that it's quite disheartening to me because what could you have to lose by just simply saying hello? You never know what a person is going through in their day. So sometimes a random hello from a complete stranger might be just the thing that some people need. I think one of my purposes in life or assignment, if you will, is by trade, I am an educator. And so by that, I like to take every opportunity possible to educate people, coach them, if you will. And one of the areas that happen to be my favorite is just guiding people in knowing that it's okay to let your guard down just a little bit, just a little bit, in order to make yourself more accessible or even approachable. Because again, you never know may need it. And not only that, you may be the individual who needs that release. I'm pretty sure that all of us here can relate to something that, an act, if you will, that we perform that we probably never have before. However, we see the residuals or the after effect. And it makes us smile. It makes us feel good on the inside, right? So 
remember that other person isn't the only one reaping the benefits but sometimes it will feed your soul as well so I challenge you guys to practice it now that I believe would send us in the right direction of making this world a better place because the truth of the matter is we really are not strangers not at all